everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be doing a quick overview on uh, how I magnetize my Riptide. This is my first Riptide. I know the Tau Codex has been out forever, but this is the first time I've had a Riptide. just haven't had the money until recently. Uh, so this is uh, what I've done to magnetize my first Riptide here. Okay, there are several things. The main thing you want, of course, magnetize is the main gun. Is you want to have the option. So what I did to magnetize the main gun is that I have put a, there's three size magnets I use, 1 8 3 16 and 1 16 uh, So what I've done first is put a 1 8 magnet here in the bottom of the hand, of the right hand, and then in the same slot in each gun, I've put in a very large uh, 3 16 magnet to give me a nice strong bond. And that's what I've got. So each one fits in there quite nicely. Now this you do have to be careful of. You have to be kind of precise. You want to make sure that the, the magnets here fit flush along the bottom and in there because this is a pretty tight fit on getting it seated in there correctly. So you don't want to have any extra burrs of plastic or anything like that. So getting uh, the magnets in all the way will work. And then on the sides of each gun you have this little pipe thing. And so what I did was I put a 1 8 inch magnet here in the hole on, the, on uh, the arm where that goes and then a 1 16th inch, 1 16th inch magnet in the actual piece so that no matter which gun I have on it will sit in there like that or if I want to put on the uh, ion cannon it's in there and that will fit in there this one's on the back here I don't know. so that I can always have this on there no matter which gun is on the, is on the model and because, you know, it's a very light piece with a large magnet on the one, it actually fits in there pretty well. You know, see this one? Especially on this one, you've got to have a really tight fit. you got to make sure that there's a really tight fit on the bottom of the hand to get into the gun. So the more precise you can be with the, uh, the magnet, the better. So I'm probably going to be mostly using the first cannon. So that's why I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, the biggest problem I had was magnetizing this. You couldn't just glue them together, but then uh, you do have a problem with transport. So what I decided to do is put a 3 16 inch magnet on each side here um, to make the body to the legs. And it's a very strong bond. So there'd be no problem moving the model around. Um, but it, it, And it's also very loose in this case. So you can pose it in a lot of different ways or turn the body if you want to during the game but it uh, it's kind of loose it doesn't really fit in one specific spot because it is like a ball and socket joint and it's meant to be moved around uh, once you take the pin off so those, that's the other part where I would make that you don't have to do this part uh, but it is going to be easier to transport when it's in two pieces like this um, and lastly is all the other little secondary weapons and bits now this is the way I do all my towel uh, I don't put magnets in the little pieces. I do have a 1 8 inch magnet in each of the hard points here. Two on, one on each shoulder, one on each arm. And then what I do is take a small piece of metal, specifically this metal here, which is a uh, slot cover from an old computer case. And I have a nibbler, which I can just take out a small rectangle of metal from this. You can see I've nibbled out a few pieces here. And what I do is I just glue a small piece of metal to the, I take off the, the um, plastic on the bottom where it would slide into the slot here on the model and just glue on a flat piece of ferrous metal and then they just snap right on to, oh, that's backwards, to the kit. And I can do that for, there's the SMSs and plasma rifles. And again, all my Tau are magnetized the exact same way, so every single crisis battle suit weapon system and auxiliary system that I have uses the same same uh, method. Where I just use a small piece of metal to uh, put it on there, and the reason for that mainly is that way I don't have to worry about polarity. Uh, I can put the magnets in any way on the model, and it just doesn't matter the polarity on the um, pieces that glue on and they're so small and light you don't really need another magnet on there to get them to stay in place and of course then I got a magnet on each of these little secondary systems I don't they don't even tell you which one's which but yeah 
So I got these like that. So again, that's how I've gone ahead and magnetized my uh, Riptide. I am actually going to play him in a game today. I got a game schedule, and this will be my first game in a while, and I'm actually going to be playing him. So I'm very excited that he's not painted yet, unfortunately, because I just got him put together because uh, I've been working on my commission this week instead. And but I'm going to be playing him with uh, the burst cannon, SMSs, velocity tracker, uh, early warning overwrite, and Earthcast pilot because I play uh, far side enclaves. So that's uh, 225 points, I think, or 230 points, and um, we'll see how he does. So if you have any questions, of course, just leave them in the comments, but uh, that's just a quick overview on how to magnetize a uh, XV-104 Riptide. Thanks for watching.